Hey up viewer, James Peck here, specialist skills, being frightfully polite, beard growing, yeah that just about covers everything, and welcome to Wheatley TV at Debdale Park uh, in the verdant hinterland between Mansfield and Mansfield Wood Arse for uh, Wheatley seconds against Sherwood Colliery firsts. Well, Sherwood Colliery have won the toss, they're batting first, and as you'll probably detect, dear viewer, I'm on a raised bank. Love a raised bank, me. Um, one of the uh, few hilly structures in the whole of Knotts. I feel very privileged. So we've got Jacob Bremer, the captain of the seconds, bowling the first ball. Good full start. So the uh, familiar figure of Mad Dog behind the stumps for the twos today. We've also uh, got Alex Anger, Cal Rutherford and George Lewis, who are usually in the first. Don't worry, we're not circumventing any rules. They've all played second team games so far this season. That's uh, how they qualify. And those are the first run for Sherwood Colliery. It's a full one from Jake. It's been played down to fine leg. It's just about fielded. It's, uh, first run's off the bat. Oh, dog, that is absolutely awesome, man. That's a stumping. Or is it? Oh no, the umpire looked like he'd given it out. <laughs> and God, what, what drama in this first over. <laughs> but uh, I think no harm done in the end. So Henry Wilson uh, opening the bowling for Wheatley from the other end. Oh. Oh, and that's nearly chopped onto his stumps. Good bowling for Henry. Well, for those uh, Rob Hunter Shaw fans out there, uh, originally on the uh, team sheet for this game, but uh, due to harvest, he uh, can't play uh, today. It's a rare dry day, so I imagine he's out on the combine. Um, so we have club chairman and all-round Wheatley legend, Wayne Ellis, propped at first slip. Um, hopefully going to biff a few later on in the top order as well. Cut down, fine, and that should go for four, it does. Oh, bold. Oh, and again. So, uh, we've got Alex Anger on for an early change to uh, Wheatley's bowling attack. Oh, good grief, and that's been um, cut down. Big full toss. And it's just the one. Oh, and that's a vicious looking in swing of Yorker that's been uh, somehow played out through uh, backward point for four. It's another in swinger, but this time a bit too full. It's been punched delightfully through mid on for four. That's a lofted shot. Great effort there by uh, Jake Cleaver, but that's going out uh, towards the boundary for a two. Oh, that's been flayed and even though George got a big pour on it that's still going for four. Oh my word. <laughs> oh it's a big appeal but that's uh, a bit high I think. Oh that is a jaffer. So we're in the tenth over here. 29 that'll be 30 without loss. And my co-commentator for today is Jordan Niles. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm good. What about you? Yeah, not bad, mate. I think um, Sherwood Collier were a little bit nervous when they saw you turning up today. <laughs> <laughs> um, luckily, you, uh, you're not qualified to play for the teams. What have you uh, made of it so far? Um, I think Henry has been bowling well so far. I think the guys from the other end are a bit um, inconsistent, but I'm liking what I'm seeing from Henry so far. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, that oh, he is oh, being dropped. dropped by Jake. Oh, that's so unfortunate. He's a bit grumpy with himself, but that was a tough chance. Um, so yeah, that's uh, one of the sort of rare chances that have happened, isn't there, Joy? It's been quite. Um, it, the batting side haven't really got away with it, but then we haven't really created a huge amount of chances. Yeah, not too much until then. He almost brought the good luck. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're going to have to try this commentator's curse thing. You know, sort of keep, <laughs> keep going. Um, so uh, weather-wise, Joel, today it's a little bit, little bit autumnal. How are you? Uh, how are you finding it? Um, I'm trying, but the wind, the wind, it has me. 
<laughs> now uh, you're going inside in about five minutes yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't blame you <laughs> uh, we are up on this raised bank it is uh, slightly windier up here i think than the down in the the bowl but um uh, george stuck it out for a solid uh, solid 45 minutes and that's uh, i think that's a pretty decent effort yeah impressive <laughs> It's been helped on its way and that's going to be four. Oh, that's nice bowling. Yeah, haven't you? Correctly. Oh, he's left uh, one that could have been curling back into the stunt, so I think it was just outside the line. So we've got the, the birthday boy, Henry Patterson here. Happy 18th birthday for the other day, Henry. Thank you very much. That's all right. Um, how did you have a nice, quiet, quiet celebration? Uh, just, just, just a couple of people together. Just a couple of close friends for a small gathering. Lovely. Uh, I, although I did hear on the grassy knoll that it was um, it was quite a big night uh, or day out in Sheffield yeah. with the rest of the first team. How did it? How messy did it get? I started drinking Thursday night and stopped last night. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good though. It was good, and you you suitably recovered. Yeah, honestly, I've uh, yeah, I've got quite a good hangover cure. I've got the all day breakfast here. The all day breakfast sandwich from the co-op. Yeah, that yeah. is a solid okay. move. There was a there was poor options to be honest with you. I usually go yeah. southern fried chicken, but well, of course, uh, as yeah. any right thinking person would. Okay. Um, have you uh, taken in any of the action yet, Henry? What do you make of proceedings? We've got both the first team opening bowlers here. So in fact, we've got all the first team uh, opening bowlers of the season. Good count. Rutherford stood uh, stood somewhere in the offside. So how um yeah how, how are you have you found the match so far then, Henry? I've only been scintillating. Here. I've only been here a couple of hours, but it's a right good view from up here. So. Isn't it just? Yeah, we were very lucky. We need lucky. this sort of thing more often, don't we? We need, we need to help create some sort of man-made mound at Wheatley. Mm. <laughs> Blocking out the view of the bungalows. Yeah. Lots of things. Probably do them through as well, they're right. A bit mardy, aren't they? <laughs> 35 for none off uh, the first tenner. Solid start here by Sherwood. Is, uh, Commentators what curse nearly worked. <laughs> no, it's been edged between keeper and slip for four. A new uh, face for you uh, Wheatley viewers to get used to, Annie Suresh, who is uh, our latest signing, 15 years old. He's uh, signed for Wheatley from Altsall Bryden and a very, very exciting prospect. A very stylish bat and he uh, managed to get 72 I think in his first ever knock for Wheatley 2 so uh, the first will be sniffing around him I'm sure oh that's another big appeal but again that's probably going down he's moving it quite a lot here is Alex brilliant stop from dog and in this league that's not a wide speaking for myself um, if we had leg side wides in this league we'd be here all day Sherwood Open has done really well to uh, battle through this very probing spell from Henry Wilson. Another change of bowling at this end, Cole Millington coming on. It's a rare short one from Henry that's been dismissively pulled away for four. That's launched in the air and somehow evades uh, three fielders. but he'll be just going down. Oh, that's well bowled. Oh, and that's gone up in the air. It's going to evade Jake. And that's going to be two. So with Wheatley still looking for the combination to um, prize out this first wicket, George Lewis is coming on <laughs> to bowl some left arm orthodox and well everyone's allowed a loosener 50s up for uh, Sherwood Colliery we're into the 18th over that's been swung away for another four through mid wicket shot players are taking a breather at the halfway stage and uh, Sherwood Colliery uh, have made stately progress to uh, 66 without loss off their 20 over so far. Uh, we play 40 over cricket in the Bassett Law League uh, Division 3 and hopefully Wheatley can uh, somehow prize this partnership apart and then get their teeth into this uh, middle and lower order. Mad Dog's mum and dad, Pete and Neat walking around the outfield. Um, gosh I'm missing Neat's cricket tees. 
I mean, I know I'm biased, but comfortably the best in the league. Swung away, but there is a man out there. And that's his 50. Brilliantly played. Lots of fantastic bottom hand shots on the leg side. And he's given his side a really solid platform for which to build. That's been swung away. And that's gone for four. It's been swung away, yeah. out to Annie Suresh, who takes it brilliantly. <laughs> they were freaking out on Saturday, just because I, I, I did my hair, had lives. <laughs> oh, oh, he's bowled oh, off and Georges. Pecky, I dare you to ride the pedal down. Tom Thomas don't do it, so I'll go back <laughs> So George Lewis continuing with this breakthrough over. He's picked the lock here. <laughs> that is brilliantly bowled by Bram, and that's three down. Yappy. I knew as soon as that ball left his hand, then you could see that. <laughs> and, uh, George has uh, pulled that one down and that's going out for four. Well, you might have uh, missed that because our uh, auto focusing uh, problems have come back to haunt us, but that was very, very close. <laughs> gone through square leg and that's four. It's gone straight up in the air and it's been taken by Jake Brower out in the deep. So we've got a change in bowling. Annie Suresh coming on to bowl in place of uh, George Lewis after that excellent spell. very much taking over the James Peck uh, berth. Uh, bowling off spin in the middle overs. Big shoes to fill. Oh, and that's taken at short cover. And uh, I think we can say shoes filled. A massive mix up, and someone's got to be out, <laughs> and it's that chap. So, after the, the most solid of starts, this Sherwood Corrie innings is heading south pretty quickly. They've um, into the last 10 overs now, and they've got to try and get somewhere in the region of uh, 150 here, I think, to. Uh, make this match a challenge, bearing in mind um, the batting talent that Wheatley have in their ranks today. Alex Anger back on at this top end. As that's slammed out, well fielded by Annie. And the chance of another run out uh, just goes begging. And he's bowled him. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that was uh, the focus out again. How annoying. But uh, Alex bowls him. Oh, that's a big appeal when it's been turned down.
think this chat's going to be a lot of fun to watch, Pat. <laughs> Oh, and it's all over for him. Well, it was uh, fun while it lasted. Well, Wheatley have done brilliantly, stuck to the guns fantastically, and um, Sherwood Colliery at the moment cannot arrest this uh, alarming slide. Probably not. Oh gosh, that was close from Annie. Well bold. Oh my gosh. That's uh, no good at all. Gosh, I hope he's okay. Well, they're made of tough stuff in this part of the world and that must have uh, been a hell of a blow to uh, get him off the field. So. Uh, all best from uh, the Wheatley boys. The uh, redoubtable Phil Stanley uh, comes to the crease. I had a quick chat with him before play. Uh, he was, uh, I thought he was going to be initially uh, upset with me for describing him as uh, last time we played against him as uh, playing for 30 odd years, but luckily he told me he'd be playing for longer. <laughs> as he hedges one down, it's being chased by Nick Cleaver and I think they'll settle for one. He did. Uh, oh, and that's been taken by Annie Suresh uh, at point. Sorry, I missed that, but um, another comfy catch. And I think that might be all over. So, very much a game of uh, two halves uh, that innings. As uh, Sure definitely uh, won the first half, but Wheatley have come roaring back in the second. So, you join us as. Wheatley are batting. We've got the dynamic duo of Alex Anger and Nick Cleaver. Uh, the batting for Wheatley. Alex facing first. And he's cut that out straight to cover and they run. So I've sacrificed vantage point for the ability to read the scoreboard in this uh, second innings as Alex swings out of the way. And there's a full on chase by a fine leg as it's gone for four. straight back at him it's gone burst through his hands flicked away by Nick off his first ball a single Alex has smashed that back down the ground but uh, the outfields are quite lush here and it's only gonna be a single Alex has um, hit that straight to mid on and he's gone. The unmistakable George Lewis is coming to the crease and Whitley will uh, I'm sure want to get this done quickly if they can but not recklessly and uh, have to strike a balance here. Well bowled. Oh, that's edge by Nick, and it's uh, gone through about where a third slip would have been. And they've come back for comfy two. That's a lovely little flick. Nick out to the mid wicket boundary for four runs. George has uh, extracted a yelp from the keeper there because he uh, under edged that one and uh, just passed the stumps. What a lovely setting this ground is in with that uh, tall wooded area at the back of the shot there. I think by the shape of it, I'm guessing that used to be the spoil tip for the former Sherwood Colliery, but someone will correct me if I'm wrong, I am sure of it. Oh, that 
that's bounced through cover and it's going out for four. It's a lovely shot by George. It's punched out, but again, this outfield is going to hold it up. And they come back for two. That's punched brilliantly by George. And that's six. What a shot. Oh, it's going to run out of chance here. And probably went to the wrong end. Another punch by George down the ground. And uh, there's no point chasing that. Uh, the uh, field has noticeably spread for uh, George now. A wide ring is in operation, if you pardon the expression. It's cut out. Oh, and that's gone through him. We've all been there, some more than others. Oh, that's been savagely pulled by Nick towards the pavilion for four. 50 up for uh, Wheatley in well, really no time at all. Next punch that over extra cover and it's gone like a rifle crack for four. Nick smashes it out again. And it's been taken on the boundary. Well, the dashes keep on coming for Wheatley. Here's Cal Rutherford, who, um, by his own admission in previous videos, doesn't like to hang around. <laughs> There's his first ball. Well, I think it's fair to say that uh, Sherwood aren't going to contain Wheatley scoring wise here so the only way they're going to win this is by taking wickets and uh, they've stuck together really well. Uh, Wheatley are uh, just over halfway to their target and this is the time when Sherwood really need to turn the screw. Oh that's a delicious pull stroke by George Lewis. It's being chased down diligently, but it's four runs. Such a shame that this lovely spot can be ruined by surly youths loitering and lurking. You still got the video? Have you, just have you just deleted it? No, no, I'm going to keep it. It's going shame in there. Thank you. You've got to show me. Uh, four runs by <laughs> Callum Rutherford. Yeah, and uh, the, the like fantastic Phil game. Stanley has uh, come on to bowl for Sherwood. You are. <sighs> oh, and Cal's gone for a great big move. Uh, but that's not out. Oh, Shut. Cal connects this time, and that's uh, shot through uh, square leg, and that's gone for four. Oh, and he's bowled in. Brilliant stuff. Mad Dog comes trudging to the wicket. So it's slightly past me by. We've got Phil and Ryan Stanley uh, bowling father and son in tandem at the moment. And they're... Uh, just drawing up the runs here and making this final approach uh, for Wheatley slightly turbulent. That's uh, smashed over the top. It's not going to be four. It's been launched back in. And that's out.
So our weekly wobbling here, we've got um, Annie Suresh coming in. Can a teenager show uh, the grown-ups how it's done here? <laughs> Nicely played first ball. Shot by dog. Are you sure? Now, they are coming back for two, <laughs> and this time uh, they make it. So we've got a uh, second team saw Aidan Blake with us. Uh, Aidan, 84 for four. Where do you think this match is heading? I think it's a bit similar to the home fixture we had where we got off a bit of a flyer and then we sort of stumbled around the same point when this very bowler came in. <laughs> the remarkable to, Mr. Stanley. Yeah, started to skittle us off, but as we were just saying, he only gets to bowl half of them, so if we can just keep <laughs> him out. That's it. And then we've got enough time. Or just oh, do that. Just man. clip it through backward oh, square leg. And it's going to hold up, I think, on this uh, outfield. It is. And they come back for two, comfortably this time. And he smashes that through mid-wicket. It's not come out in the middle. So they're going to come back for what should be a long three. And it is. That is a magnificent cover drive from Dog. It's gone through cover again. And they've decided against the third. 15 to get for Wheatley. And six wickets to get for Sherwood. Can you just try to horn it? Oh, that's inside edge from Annie. And they're going to take a quick single here. And it's going to be comfy in the end. Been punched out by dog, and that's going to be a comfy two. Oh, that's a lovely cover drive. That's only going to be one. That's a lofted drive by Annie. It's going to come down here for two. Five to win for Wheatley. Dog slams that out. Again, it's not going to reach the boundary agonisingly close. And they come back for two. Three to win. Oh. <laughs> Mad Dog slams that over the top. Massive six. And what a way to win this match. As the players shake hands, um, Wheatley have sewn up this match with surgical precision and romp home to victory by six wickets and they've uh, not even faced half the overs they were meant to. So fantastic victory for the twos. Well, thanks so much for watching us here on Wheatley TV today here at Deddale Park. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again next week. All the best.